cylinder head removed, the valves removed, all of the uh, camshaft gear removed on our N12 Prince engine. Uh, it's been stripped because our valve seat came out. Uh, the symptoms of the valve seat um, coming loose was the hot idle misfire problem. So if you have a hot idle misfire, then chances are you have a uh, valve seat problem. Um, we knew there was a problem on cylinder four because when we removed, um, apart from the fact you obviously got uh, you know misfire coming from the uh, on the cell, um, when we removed the camshaft sensor, obviously the um, electronic drops out of, of variable valve lift and then moves into full valve lift in that situation. The misfire stopped and I'm guessing what would have happened was the valve was seating the valve seat down onto this chamber of the cylinder head properly and therefore was getting compression and when it was in variable valve time the amount of valve lift wasn't enough to push on the return side to push the inlet valve hard onto the onto the seats and seal so it was misfiring because it was using compression. Um, not a good situation uh, because this car had been into a mini specialist and uh, a mini specialist that really didn't know much about misfires I think to be honest. Um, they certainly didn't know how to test a dynamic misfire. They did all the classic um, um, draw down um, compression tests um, you know and, and put it on to you know, uh, uh, some third party um, diagnostic system but they really didn't as far as I'm concerned they certainly didn't try using a compression gauge in cylinder 4 while it was idling because I'm sure they would have found the compression was going it was disappearing. I mean, more to the point, they thought it was an ignition problem uh, when they were that far off. So a month later, I got the car back with a misfire, and a couple of months after that, pow, that came the valve seat. And this is the damage, as you can see. I think basically what happens is it dropped out of cylinder four, went into the inlet manifold, and then made its way down through all the singers um, and the, the, the pistons in the same state basically so it needs new pistons this needs a skim a new valve seat putting in in fact two probably and um, um, cylinder head skim to get rid of all of the, the surface damage uh, new pistons deglazed and then we start putting it back together um, bit of an expensive exercise particularly with the uh, abortive attempt by a mini specialist to diagnose the problem um, yeah not particularly happy about their performance um, but you know sometimes you get it wrong anyway I'll um, leave it here there's lots and lots of pictures uh, we'll try and get this stuff onto people's into people's attention because I've seen a few articles of people having misfire problems um, and hot idle misfires it tends to be described yeah well that's the problem your valve seats are loose on you uh, and you know you know that because when you disconnect the uh, sensor on the um, camshaft and the, and the Valtronic switches off and the behavior changes and if that is the case put a compression tester into that cylinder do it you know when it's got hot and it's misfiring take the plug it out put the compression tester in fire it up don't rev it off just fire it up run idle with the Valtronic enabled and I think you'll find you'll, you will lose all compression. The other thing is, particularly if it's on the inlet valve, the inlet manifold starts to get warm because obviously the, the gases are going back out into the uh, inlet chamber. So there, that, no valve seat. The one next to it has a valve seat. Um, I'll probably change that valve seat and obviously have a new one fitted in this at the same time just to be safe. I'm not going to do all of them. It's uh, a 2008 Mini Cooper uh, with 120,000 miles on the clock so it's really about just being sensible about the amount of money to spend on it um, but I'll leave it there so hopefully this might be some use to some people who are struggling with this problem